little gold tungsten with two spikes. Watch how fast this happens. They are at about 11 to 15 feet. Just stacked down there. Just jigging above them and coaxing them to, oh, come get it. Swinging and missing over here. Wow. What a jumbo. Have you just got that one crappie, Will? You only get the... I might have to drop the underwater camera down right here to see if there's anything besides little gills. Maybe I gotta go deeper to try to find the crappies. I mean, they are aggressive. They are just flying up for it. That feels a little bit better. Come on, get out of the transducer cord. There's some that aren't horrible. I'm gonna drop a camera down and see if there's any crappies mixed in this. Cause if it's all gills, that's kind of boring. mainly bluegills in here so I'm definitely going to uh, move ship and focus on being out deeper I should probably move my tip down get a minnow out there too let's figure out where the crappies are at About a three inch gill. I thought I had, I thought I got bit by a crappie and it was like a, then it came back and bit and it was about a three inch bluegill. Oh my god, my leg's up and my rod is going into the water. I thought I was gonna lose this thing. I think he's still on, that would be a miracle if you didn't drop it. Suspended, huh? <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's a fun going on an ultralight. Heck yeah. I knew that was a big <laughs> That's cool. Maybe that's what took my warrior. 
<laughs> awesome. Maybe I've got to just maybe I've got to fish a little bit more aggressive. I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put this little gold cast master on with a minnow head and see if that happens. Oh, something just hit that. Spoon with a minnow head. Could still be a three inch bluegill for all I know. Cause it hit it once and now it's just staring at it. Probably a little over aggressive bluegill. Oh yeah. Something came up and thumped the spoon. A little crappie. Yeah, a little crappie. At least it sorts out the bluegills a little bit better. Might stick with it. Ho ho ho, come on. Good one? Decent. True. We let those good girls go. Love it. It thanked you by f splashing your flasher. <laughs> oh, that's got to just be a tiny little bugger. Yep. Just an absolute dinker. They're right up in the same spot that the crappies are. That's what makes it tough though. Sometimes you can just tell when like a crappie mark like it charges in. Where you can tell like the little bluegill it's gonna creep at ya. Here's a, maybe a better mark. Can't really go wrong for a nice, nice afternoon after work to just come out and catch some fish though. Go see if they're in shallow again now. There's, oh wow, I'm fishing with no bait. That'll explain a lot. Dude, this tip up sat for a while. I haven't caught a fish on a tip up in a while. It's a cir I've got a circle hook on it from sturgeon fishing. So I gotta, I gotta be smart with how I set this hook. I can't just crank it, you know what I mean? Wow, that was <laughs> pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> the circle hook worked though, right in the mouth. I'm gonna get my minnow back and drop it back down there. See ya. Hey, man, there's there is something about watching a tip up pop that's just is something going to bite me? That was a crap. A crap daddy. Crap diddy dong and he doinked me. And I goofed. I'm gonna go back and get him though. He's waiting down there. Redemption chance. Stay there. Don't you go anywhere, buddy. You stay right where you are. Getting fainter.